Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another Hardcore Iron Man Progress video. And in the last video, we collected a bunch of sand for the giant seaweed that we already have in the bank, and that way we can start working on the next 99, which is going to be crafting. And after making all the glass with the Super Glass Make spell, we ended up with about 35k Molten Glass, which is going to get us pretty far into the crafting grind. So, I'm committed to it. We are going to get crafting done. We are going to get this skill cape, which is going to be very, very useful, by the way. And with that being said, let's get into the video, and I hope you enjoy. All the magic XP we got from doing the Super Glass Make spell got us to... 463k to 99 magic. That's uh, pretty good, actually. A lot more than I was expecting. Uh, but yeah, we are ready to start this grind now. We'll take out the glass blowing pipe and release that. Put in bank fillers. And now we can take out full inventories and deposit it just like that. And we are all set to go. Start making the option 8 here, the light orbs. There is no use for these, really. I mean, there is technically use, but there's really no good use, I guess, to use for these. They're just going to pile up in the bank, get 70 XP each, and yeah, it's going to be a nice, fun, AFK, chill grind for the next, I don't want to think about the hours. It'll be a fun grind. Let's get this thing started. Oh yeah, I also like to hide the deposit worn items button here, so I don't accidentally deposit my worn items, which is exactly what it sounds like. Yeah, I could uh, wear my fashion scape too. I don't know how many farm runs I'll be doing while I'm doing this, because I don't want to get too distracted. But I guess I probably should be doing farming since they got an anima seed planted. And we do still need a lot of herbal XP. First crafting level, finally back into the grind. We are getting 96 crafting. I would say first of many, but there are not many left to go at this point. We got three more levels to go, which is 3.4, 3.35 mil XP left for 99, which is a lot, kind of. I don't know what it is, but there's always something so satisfying about seeing the digits switch up to 10 mil XP. It's a beautiful sight. As I was saying before, I do still have to get about 1.3 mil more crafting XP uh, beyond what I already have banked uh, in the bank right now. I have 22k molten glass left, and that is only going to get us to about level 98. So I'm going to go ahead and do charter ships right now because I'm about to stream, and rather stream doing charter ships rather than just uh, standing around AFKing. I'm not going to show you how the method works because I made a guide on it uh, a while back. I will link the guide in the description if you want to see how this method works. It is more efficient to do charter ships rather than collect giant seaweed and buckets of sand for a few reasons. First reason being is that when mobile was added, they add so many new worlds so people are more spread out because of that. Uh, there's also been a few new ports added to the game, which also spreads people out more than uh, it used to be a long time ago when I was doing this. And then ever since the method of the giant seaweed and bucket of sand thing came to light, uh, a lot more people have been doing that over charter ships, which also pushed more people away from charter ships. So I haven't even tried charters in like, I don't know, a very long time. But I suspect, and what I've been told, is that it's not as crowded as it used to be and won't be as hard to find worlds. So hopefully that holds true because we're about to go ahead and do that. And just the fact that a lot of people like to AFK makes collecting sand, you know, the AFK method a lot more of an attractive option. So we'll see how this goes. Here are Mistaff and Tome of Fire for all the runes that we need. You can see I've been casting Magic and Beauty, so we are getting closer and closer to 99 Magic. In case you were wondering, the only reason why I'm casting this is because it gives Magic XP. Uh, there is no other reason to cast this spell unless you're runecrafting. So yeah, just trying to get as close as possible to 99 Magic. When crafting light orbs at charter ships, they're not tradable, so I have to drop them every single world, which is kind of annoying because all the other lower tier items you can just sell back to the shop. But even after taking the time to drop them, it's still faster XP than doing the lower tier items, although it is of course way more click intensive. The XP per hour of doing this method with light orbs, I believe is around 90k XP per hour if you're doing this at almost max efficiency, which is not taking into account the fact that other Ironmen could be doing this method. But as I was saying before, and after doing this myself, there really aren't even close to as many people doing this as there used to be. It may be like 95k plus XP per hour if you're doing this take perfect and run into no issues. Uh, me personally, I was averaging like 80 to 85k per hour, but you know, I'm not the most efficient person. And then on the flip side, the whole process of collecting sand, farming giant seaweed, uh, doing the super glass makes spell to make the glass, picking it all up, and then blowing it, I believe that whole entire process throughout the whole thing averages out to about 77k crafting XP per hour. And once again, that is like at max efficiency, and the average player like me does not play at max efficiency. So I guess it's like 77k XP per hour versus 90k XP per hour. So charter ships are better XP, it's just not as AFK. And then as for the magic XP, I'm doing two imbues per world, which is 86 XP each, and then the super glass make spell, which is 78 XP, and that comes out to a total of 250 magic XP per world. Uh, unfortunately, I wasn't actually keeping track of the magic XP, but I think I was getting around 20k per hour or so. As I suspected, it wasn't too bad here. I didn't really run into many people. I think I saw one or two people this whole time. 
Uh, but there we go, 97 crafting, and uh, we are now on to the final level. 22, 25 total, by the way, huge milestone. Heck. Here it finally is, 98 crafting. We're finally on the last stretch for crafting. Uh, we still have about 10k molten glass in the bank, so I'm not completely stuck at charter ships. Uh, we've been getting some pretty decent magic XP as well. We are under 300k to the magic level, which we are not going to get by the time we get 99 crafting. But yeah, let's uh, let's keep on doing this. Oof. So we are coming up on the last inventory of molten glass. Not for 99, but the last inventory of molten glass at charter ships. We have about 500k XP in molten glass banked right now. So after we finish up with this, we're going to go back to the bank and finish it all up, bank standing with what we already have in there. Uh, we are getting pretty close to the magic level, 170k to 99. I'm not going to get it now, but I am going to be finishing it off with Alking. Farewell, Charter Ships. It was nice knowing you, but now I will never see you ever again, except to probably buy pineapples for Ultra Compost. But hey, no more Charter Ship crafting. I have to get a, uh, a brown apron to get into the crafting guild as well. So there should be one on the tool rack right here based on the brown apron. That's right there. So sweet, now we can finish off crafting. So, 500k XP to level, we're going to be finishing off the last 500k XP here in Land's End, my favorite bank in the game. This whole area is just so beautiful, and very nice, very well made, a lot of uh, Easter eggs and hidden stuff here. It's just really nice, I like this place a lot. So that means we've got between 4 and 5 hours left for the 99. Uh, as I was saying before about finishing up magic, we are going to be alking, but I'm not going to keep on alking the maple longbows I have in the bank. I have another plan, which I'm not going to get into in this video. It's going to be in the next video. But I have a plan to get us a lot of money, and hopefully it should be all the rest of the money that we need for maxing. I think we'll probably need like 60 or 70 mil, depending on what methods I do uh, to max the account. And we currently have 56 mil, and that should put us at just the right amount to max, but we'll see how that goes. Anyways, I will see you back with the level, unless I get the pet doing a farm run or something. It looks like we had pretty much just enough Molten Glass to get to 99. Uh, I'm not going to get it right here. This should leave us one uh, extra Molten Glass away from 99. I'm going to get the 99 Crafting in the Crafting Guild. But yeah, it's pretty clutch. We got 16 Molten Glass left. Here's the final piece of very special Molten Glass. I'm just going to use my Construction Cape, by the way, to get to the Remington House Portal and run from there. In order to get into the Guild, you have to either be wearing the Crafting Skill Cape or be wearing a brown apron. And obviously we don't have the crafting skill cape yet, ask me in a minute. Uh, so we got the brown apron, that's going to let us in there. There's also a bank in there, and to use the bank you have to either have the Faldor Hard Diary done, going the wrong way here, either the Faldor Hard Diary done or have 99 crafting. So skillers can actually use the bank in here as long as they have 99 crafting. But yeah, here we go. Let's enter the guild for the first time. I don't think I've ever entered this guild on this account before, maybe for like a diary task possibly. Um, probably not though. I'm so used to coming here on the main account, but never been here and here. We got the last piece of glass for 99 crafting. So if you tried to use the bank here, it's not going to work because we haven't done the hard Faldor Diary. I can't be bothered to get done. To be honest, the Black Knight kills just take a while. I really don't feel like taking that distraction from maxing. Okay, before we blow this last piece of glass, let's turn the music on. I actually really like this song a lot. Probably one of my favorite songs in the game. Uh, if you guys watch Rarg, this is actually his outro song for these videos. But anyways, here we go. The last piece for 99 crafting. Oh man, such a great skill cape to have. May not be the prettiest skill cape, but it's a very, very nice skill cape to have. And I realize I don't have 99k, but because we have 99 crafting now, we should be able to hopefully use the bank chest here. Yes, we can. Awesome. So I'll take out our 99k, take that over to the Master Crafter. I think they should call the Fisherman guy the Master Baiter. That'd be a great name for him. But here we go 99k. And we got one of the most useful skill capes in the game. The crafting skill cape, the construction skill cape, uh, the magic skill cape, all very, very useful skill capes. Let's put it on and do the emotes. Ah, uh, it's so good. And with the skill cape, if you use it to teleport, it teleports you straight here to this exact spot every single time. Uh, what I was using before was the Western Banner 4, which is from the Western Provinces Elite Diary, which is like a budget crafting cape. I've showed it a lot in previous videos. Uh, so if you didn't know what it does, 
and teleports you right here to the Piscator's fishing colony, but it's a random spot every time. It teleports you to like a random spot anywhere around this area. The farming cape is also pretty close to teleport now with the farming guild, but I'm like 99% sure this is closer, even if you spawn over here. I'm pretty sure it's a lot closer to the bank. And this dude does walk around too, which is a bit annoying. But yeah, we probably won't really need this for anything else. We've got the crafting cape now, teleports us straight here to the crafting guild. New best in slot teleport. We can now use this cape to collect buckets of sand faster in the future, right? I don't know, man. It's nice to be done with this skill. Have it out of the way, and we can move on to the next grind. Man, we are so close yet so far from maxing. 50 more levels to go. Give it a few more months, we will get there. But thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope that you have a great day. And I will see you again next time. Please subscribe. I'm lonely.